That's kind of where, where we're going with this study is what are your priorities? And I know we talked about the Westmoreland bypass and came out of the regional <coughs> transportation plan discussions and workshops and everything that we had. And you guys had a seat at the table, I believe, Westmoreland had some work there. Um, so we're going to be, we're going to have a Scott, correct me if I'm wrong. There's one more, there's another public workshop that we'll be having at the end of the study, right? In February. Okay. So that'll be another opportunity after we have a lot more information, hopefully some pretty maps and things for you guys to kind of present to you. And, and I think it'll, uh, it'll provide a lot more information that maybe right now is just kind of on the surface, you know, we'll, you know, here's what we're doing, here's the results in, in February that we'll present to you, and then you guys can discuss with your, your council and see what what's important to you that came out of the study. And then we'll be part of that, and you can bring us in, and we can start talking about, about projects, and the region can push for whatever they want to push for, and we'll, we'll get involved. Sir, do you have a question? Yeah, I've got two questions. <clears throat> okay, number one, uh, you mentioned your studying alternatives and uh, reasons why to do this and why to do that. But why, why are you picking Forrester Road? Is that just because it's already here, or okay. is it an unsafe highway and you want to alleviate congestion, or what? We're looking at Forrester Road because it's, it's a major parallel to 86. 86. It's a Caltrans facility right now, but it runs through El Centro, the city of Imperial, and it functions mainly as a city street in those urban areas. Right. Our main goal at Caltrans is to look at regional and interregional traffic, getting someone from Imperial, Palm Springs, to San Diego County, goods movement, those type of things. So 86 <coughs> corridor isn't an efficient or effective corridor for us in that regard because every, all the traffic slows down when it goes through El Centro, the city of Imperial. So a, a, a parallel facility to 86 to us and to the region is important. Of course, the road is one of those areas that's not been developed. So we see an opportunity there to preserve, potentially preserve the corridor, to maintain the corridor as a, a limited access, you know, high speed facility that would be important for regional traffic. And so we looked at that because there's not many other opportunities other than we, were, we did we built 111, which you know, east of 86. Now looking west of 86 is a parallel facility. Forrester seemed to be one of the facilities that makes sense. And it's also been discussed with the county and with your and his group about uh, looking at Forrester Road. And if the idea of Caltrans ever potentially relinquishing 86 to the locals, part of that discussion that's important to the county is looking at an alternative to 86. If Caltrans is going to give it up to the locals, is there, is there a potential for Forrester to be adopted as a state highway in the future? But in order to do that, it has to meet standards, you know, that Caltrans access, all those type of things. So this study is kind of looking at all that from a future travel demand, and is it is it a facility that may work as a state future state highway? Well, you know, so that's why I of hear. Course, that's why well, I mean, I've heard. I don't know if it's true or not because I never see anything in writing. Uh, and yes, I've heard that, you know, they've talked about putting Forrester, you know, state, you know, state highway under South France. And, but I've also heard that, okay, if they do that, later on down, the, the road, you know, years on down, that they're, they're talking about maybe, like, circling it and having a bypass that, you know, they've come in so far, I don't know how far, and then there'll be a roadway come around and connect to 86. That's my issue. If that is in the plan, I think that, see, that should all be, court, you know, put together and, and where the public can hear and, and see. And if that's the case, <coughs> the way it's presented, like, okay, we're going to put a, a, a four-lane or a six-lane uh, road on, you know, Forrester, I understand, uh, Caltrans is into, you know, move the traffic don't stop the traffic, keep the traffic moving. If they're going, but the way it's presented, like here, four six-lane road is coming right into Westmoreland. Okay, we have a fear about that because we we don't want a, a, an express, a freeway coming into Westmoreland. But if we know on down the road 
that it is going to maybe, uh, if it is in the plan, is it in the plan or is it not? See, I, I get mute. If it's in the plan, say yes, uh, uh, 10, 15, 20, 30 years down the road, we are planning on uh, bypassing and, and taking the uh, truck traffic on around and connecting to 86. You, you understand my, my, my point? And if that is in the plan, the, the future plan, state it in these public hearings where the public can, can know what's in the future. And then we can step back and say, well, why are we hitting our head against the wall trying to uh, get money for a bypass or whatever uh, when it's going to be, you know, yeah. we'll go, go after money for our city street. Sure, and I think that's where we're going with the so, study is to look at all those things. And you're part of, of that discussion. I mean, you got to look at what, what's Westmoreland's general plan. What is your circulation plan? What is the county circulation plan for Forrester? What is the original transportation plan for Forrester? You look at all those things. Those are all planning level documents. And you start figuring out well, what is the future plans for Forrester. And mm -hmm. then that's what we base our studies and our modeling on. Our modeling and studies are based largely on your general plan circulation elements. But <coughs> is there a plan? Well, the county has a plan. <laughs> is there a plan? We really haven't heard of it. I don't <laughs> think we've ever uh, you know, we've no, studied no. that. We've never studied any actual study of the bypass. No, no, that's why I remember. The 20-year plan was a conceptual plan that bring the deal together, and that's where it all starts out. The interior county uh, circulation plan is, you know, the county circulation plan, that's the very idea of the planning method. The city has one singular. But the IPAC one comes with the other region, and according to what, again, what we received as far as promise from the public, not just from West Morning, but from Raleigh, but you know, from Central Imperial, those that are affected, or in, uh, from whatever quarter, at this point, for Forrester, we heard that, yes, that is part of, you know, that was part of that, the idea to look into whether a new facility needs to be created, or we need to enhance the existing facility. We don't know, we can't answer that to you, because we don't want to, uh, we don't want to leave out the public, uh, quite frankly. I mean, what, what good does it do to the public to, for us to decide what it'll be? We can't. That's not, you know. You can comment on those kinds of things as part of the study. And Westmoreland can have a position on that as part of the study. Are you at that meeting, the highway meeting, the 20-year plan? Is that what that was? Is that what that On that map, the forest, it showed everyone going on the highway. On the highway. You mean that way out? It showed it in the 20-year plan that the bypass would be on Andre Road. And that's why we're getting so much resistance from the county to do our truck bypass because they want us to wait to let that happen. Again, that's what we heard from the general public, from this region and the rest of the region. We we try to get the word out as much as possible. It's been a very you know typical radio, TV, newspaper, and, you know, quite frankly, from this neck of the woods, we ought to get a very good turnout, but, you know, um, and that's whom we, who, who we heard from, but... Summertime. Thank you. 